Welcome to Reach the World ASAP. My name is Pastor Scott Griswold and I'm here in Cambodia with ASAP Ministries. And I want to invite you on a tour of the city of Phnom Penh. Come on, hop in the tuk-tuk. I love this city. There's over a million and a half people living here. Now, I don't like cities, but I love the people because we lived here for six years and they're close to my heart. I know that God is looking down and knows every single one of them and their little apartment buildings and their motorcycles as they're driving along. And so many of them are just trying to survive, just trying to make it. And even the wealthy people who build up their big, huge mansions, they're just trying to survive in their families and their, in their search for happiness. That's why I'm so glad that ASAP Ministries has church planters across the city starting little groups and continuing on groups that have been started, helping people to stay strong in Jesus and to reach out their neighbors. I'm so glad you come with me on this tour through Phnom Penh City. The nice thing about traffic jams is that if you get going slow enough, you can grab something to eat along the way. Well, we got to find something we'd want to eat here. Hey, there's some mangoes. Oh, he's still moving. Miss those. Hey, some sugar cane. That looks good. Well, we need a little more traffic jam right now. Here we are at the Victory Monument, known in Cambodia as the Viet Mien I Create. Back in the 1800s, Cambodia decided they needed some help, some protection between Thailand and Vietnam ruling over their countries. They sought for the help from the French. So they were a protectorate for 90 years. But in the 1950s, when King Norodom Sihanouk took power, within a few short months, he headed off to France to begin negotiating freedom for his country. They didn't take him seriously, so he went on a, on a world tour of United States, France, uh, I mean, United States and Canada and other places, finally was able to put pressure on France to let them be free with no war, no fighting at all. And 1953, they gained their independence. So this modern uh, rendition of the ancient Angkor Wat um, form of architecture has become the central symbol of the pride of Cambodia. What a special place, this Phnom Penh city. We have to stop by the riverfront. It's so beautiful here. This is that one quiet place in the city where people love to come and walk all along it. It's the place where the Tonle Sap River and the Mekong River come together before they head towards the Delta and out towards Vietnam and into the sea. What's fascinating is that this river, which normally is flowing this way out to the sea during rainy season, turns around and goes the other way, creating this enormous lake that has so many fish that it feeds much of the country. So it's a great place to come, a beautiful place to be. On the other side is the palace, and it's gorgeous and beautiful, but the sun is terrible right now for that. You'd have to come back in the morning, hope you will, so you can see its beauty. Gorgeous place, wonderful architecture. We don't want to leave Phnom Penh without going shopping. Why, in the central market here, there's all kinds of things like mm, souvenirs, use clothes really cheap and inside gold and jewels all kinds of stuff well let's go on in and take a look if we can get across the street that is you're coming right uh -huh. i think we'll make it okay come on watch your watch your step what okay we made it all kinds of strange and wonderful fruits. A few things we don't recognize at all. There's jackfruit and curly twisted things and apple custard and mangoes, papayas, more familiar stuff. If we keep going, we'll find things that are really delicious like, like crabs, pickles, all kinds of strange things to eat. But let's not leave without taking my favorite, durian. and all kinds of clothes and everything, including money. Is there money for sale? No, oh, this is where you change your money. Dollars and Cambodian real, exchanged freely and used alike. I hope you've really enjoyed our tour through Phnom Penh City. I know that you'll come to love it as you pray for the people here. You know, as I look at the central market behind me, it reminds me of when I was here and of the people in their lack of knowledge of the true and living God, his deep love for them and his power in their lives. There was a young boy 
who was living not far from where we were living. One day as we came back from a holiday, the church members rushed to tell us about a situation that had developed. They said in their village there was a young boy who had climbed up on top of this market, even though people told him, don't do it. That's where the spirits live. You better not go up there or you'll have real problems. He acted like he didn't care and climbed his way on up and danced around there. Well, that night when he came home, a spirit possessed him and he began to act really strange. He acted out in effeminate ways and his voice sounded like a girl. He, the parents were scared. They didn't know what to do. So they went around to their traditional healers, but nobody seemed to be able to help him. So they did the next thing. And that was they said to the Christians who were living on their block, would you please pray to Jesus? Would you please help us? We've heard that there is ways to help. Well, they weren't sure about that. They were new church members. They'd never done anything like this before. Could they really do it? Would God use them? But they decided they'd have to try. After all, the missionaries weren't around. So they went and they prayed with them. As they prayed, the spirit left him and went off. Well, they were excited and they were happy to tell us, except for the fact that the next day, the spirit had entered him again. That's why they called us to come and to pray as well. But well, we knew there was nothing special about our prayers compared to theirs. But we wanted to pray and to try to see this young boy set free. Sure enough, there he was, possessed by a spirit, talking strange, acting weird. And as we prayed, once again, the spirit left. Immediately we began to teach him from God's word that he had to let Jesus come and dwell in his heart so there would be a power and the spirits could not return. Well, we hoped that that would happen. But it turned out that the young boy was not interested. The next day he took off for the beach and did not ask Jesus to come and live in his life. So the end of that story is not a happy story, it's a sad story and a reminder that what the people really need is Jesus Christ. So that's our hope with ASAP being here in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, that we will be able to find people that are searching for that power, to point them to look up to the God who is strong enough to protect them from any spirit and to give them a salvation that lasts for eternal life. I hope you will point people to that same salvation and be behind those who are out there on the front lines doing it. Together, let's reach the world ASAP.